We all know that we need to find ways to lower our carbon footprint. Now in motorsports it's difficult because there is a passion and a love for the rumble of a combustion engine. The thing is the people that love cars and motorcycles are the people that watch these races and the people that really love cars love the combustion engine. We want the vibrations, the sounds and everything else that go with it. So if they made everything electric, they would lose a massive part of their viewers and fan base. Luckily, there are other ways to lower the emissions of race cars and racing motorcycles. Synthetic fuels and alternative fuels. And that is exactly what MotoGP and F1 are looking into. MotoGP is looking at having new mandates by 2024, in which the fuel in all MotoGP classes will be of a minimum of 40% non-fossil origin. And they want to be fully synthetic by 2027. You see, the MotoGP has the resources to test and develop these fuels, same with the Formula 1 and Porsche. They are both already looking into this and are also busy developing 100% sustainable and renewable fuels. Now the idea with these fuels are to be drop-in. They want to develop a fuel that can be used in any car or motorcycle without modifying the engine. At most, a tune and you are good to go. On top of that, the goal is to have a fuel that is not only drop-in, but that also doesn't affect the performance, so the vehicle should ride or drive exactly as intended by the manufacturer. This means that there would be absolutely no excuse to adopt this new fuel and use it in your vehicle. Now, the MotoGP wants to help. Since global motorcycle sales amount to 60 million units per annum, and motorcycles is a necessity for a huge proportion of the population, with over 2 billion motorcycles on the roads of our world. Now in many countries, these two-wheeled motorized vehicles drive society, so if we really want to make the world a better, greener place, we ideally need buy-in from all motorsports related organizations. MotoGP is the platform in which these fuels will continue to be developed and tested, with every premier class manufacturer working with their supplier to develop their own fuel. The development of multiple fuels will ensure that the technology and knowledge will reach the consumer and the fuel pumps on the streets. This will create a massive selection of proven, fully sustainable drop-in fuels developed and tested by some of the biggest and best companies out there, with no single proprietor this guarantees unprecedented global impact. Now, the MotoGP believes that these fuels will be the fuels that carry us into the future. These fuels will be used in a standard internal combustion engine and will either be laboratory created using components sourced from a carbon capture scheme or derived from municipal waste or non-food biomass. And by using these biomass or lab created fuels, they will produce a carbon neutral fuel meaning that no new carbon would be produced by burning these fuels. And Repsol Honda is already hard at work producing just this. Mark Marquez has recently tested a renewable fuel that was manufactured by Repsol at its technology lab with the aim of maintaining the same performance on track while significantly reducing the net CO2 emissions. Now on the Jarama circuit in Spain, Mark was sent out on track to find out what he thinks of the bike and how she rides whilst on this fuel. So on paper, this fuel should produce the same power as normal fuels, but they asked Mark to go out and test. And this is what he had to say after the test. It has been a positive test, since I felt good and I didn't notice a difference when using the biofuel, which is exactly what they wanted to achieve. They wanted to develop a clean fuel that is able to maintain a high level of performance. He further stated, as a rider, you look at the response from the engine. You wanted to increase revs cleanly, that the feeling when you first touch the gas is smooth and that depends on the combustion, which can be too aggressive sometimes. In this case, it was smooth. You also notice that the engine feels fine under high revolutions, which is when you reach maximum performance. So these fuels are working. So what are they using to produce it? Well, these advanced biofuels comes from biomass residues as well as synthetically produced fuels which are produced by capturing CO2 and using renewable hydrogen. And if you know me, you know I'm a huge hydrogen fanboy. But using hydrogen on older cars is difficult and an expensive conversion, whereas with these fuels any car should work just fine without any changes being made. It burns just like normal fuel, only difference is it doesn't produce any greenhouse gases. 
But let me know down below what you think of these synthetic fuels. With huge players such as Formula 1, MotoGP and everybody underneath them buying in, I feel like this is definite viable alternative fuel that we might be able to use in the future. Now if you guys enjoyed this video or found it interesting, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more car related videos and motorcycle related videos, um, I do cars and motorbikes and if you are interested in alternative fuels, this is also kind of the place to be, I've got tons of videos on that. So go through my channel, see if there's something else you like, I'll check you guys in the next one, cheers eh?